Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are looking to generate images like this with an AI model, then you got to have a look at this model flux. I already have covered how to install this model in your Linux environment or even you can use those commands in your APIs by using this video. In this video, we have, we have gone into great detail as how to get it installed through code step by step and what is the architecture of this flux model. And in this video, I am going to show you this new tool which is a free local web UI for flux models. We are going to install it locally and then this tool even lets you download any of the model like flux1 Chanel or flux1 merged just with a few clicks and then you can just start using it. This minimal flux web UI is powered by Gradio and Diffusers. It automatically downloads checkpoints from Hugging Face so everything just works. If you are not aware of what these flux models are, flux one dev is a 12 billion parameter a rectified flow transformer capable of generating images from text descriptions it has got cutting edge output quality second only to their state-of-the-art model which is flux one pro that is a paid option but this Chanel and dev we can install locally and play around with it i already have done the video on the Chanel model it also has competitive prompt following matching the performance of closed source alternatives it has been trained using guidance distillation making flux one dev more efficient it has got open weights to drive new scientific research and it empower artists to develop innovative workflow flows generated outputs can be used for personal scientific and commercial purposes as described in their flux one dev non-commercial license so that is what flux one and flux one dev is and now let's go and try to get this thing installed on our local system. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent GPUs on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 which I am going to use for this video. This GPU card has 48 GB of VRAM. And by the way, whatever commands I am using, you can use them on Windows and Mac too. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's create a Conda environment to keep everything in our uh, virtual environment. Not this one, let me put it. This is where I am creating the Conda environment. Let's wait for it to get installed and activate it. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Okay, next up, let's git clone the repo of this Flux web UI and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And we have git cloned it. Now let's install some of the requirements and prerequisites. First, let's install the prerequisites like Torch, Torch Vision, etc. This is going to take a minute or so, so let's wait. All the prerequisites are done. Now let's install all the requirements. Let's wait for them to get finished. All the requirements are also done. Let me clear the screen. And now in order to launch the application, all you need to do is to run this Python 3 app.py. And it has started the Gradio demo for us, which we can Check out in our browser at this port 7860. So let me run it. And there you go. Our Flex Web UI is now running locally. Now you can see that if you scroll down, this is a drop down where you can select either your Flex1 Chanel model or you could go with the dev model, which is a merge model. And then you can set some of the stuff here. I'm just going to go with uh, the usual one. And all you need to do is to just enter your prompt here, click on run and it is going to generate an image here. First time it is going to take some time because it downloads the model. And you can see that I have just given it this prompt here, a translucent teapot with smoke coming out of it. And then if I just go to terminal, you will see that it is downloading the model at the moment. So let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will see 
what sort of image it generates and we will also try out few other examples and there you go after the model download it has created what i asked it to create and look at this teapot and look at the smoke this is all has been generated locally how good is that how beautiful is that now one thing i want to mention that in this one we are using Chanel because i tried it out with this merged one but it seems someone has changed it because when you try to run this it just gives us the error so for example if i select it and maybe i'll show you what i mean i think someone has just changed the model config.json file so for example i'm asking here it generate an image of a delicate porcelain skinned woman with flowing green hair and leaves surrounded by a halo of soft um, white lighter in a misty forest setting so when you run it it gives you an error so if i go to here it says that it has uh, not gotten config.json file so i think someone may, might have changed it maybe when you tried it they might have fixed it so feel free to try it out so let's go with the chanel and let's click on generate now this time it should be fairly quick because it is not downloading the model so you see it has already started generating the image so let's wait for it to create and look at this beauty can you believe that let me scroll above there you go you see how good is that i mean i can't believe my eyes this is simply magic how good i mean I, we could save it for the later usage seriously i think i'm going to save it maybe as a um, youtube thumbnail okay let's try out another one so in this one i'm asking it visualize a powerful blonde woman with a golden crown armor and a sword standing confidently in a grand high ceiling throne room with large windows and uh, tapestries let's try it out and look at this how realistic this looks really realistic this is very good like the armor and all that stuff and it follows the prompt very very religiously which is really cool crown looks really good and same goes with the background which i have mentioned here let's try out another one in this one i am asking it visualize a complex system of interlocking gears fogs and springs with a subtle glow set against a dark gradient background let's see what this does and look at this piece of art this is amazing amazing stuff uh, followed the prompt and look at the quality this is simply mind-blowing okay let's try out another one in this one i am asking it generate an image of a brilliant tattooed hacker with glowing neon circuits surrounded by holographic screens wires and dark rain-soaked cityscape and check this one out all the neon lights are there hacker is there amazing stuff even you can see the reflection in the glass okay let's try out another one in this one i'm asking it generate an image of a bustling market in bland tire malawi with vibrant stalls setting colorful textile fresh produce and handicraft surrounded by a lively vendors let's wait for it and this look also looks great humans are a bit distorted but other than that all the detail is there looks quite real other than that there you go okay so now let's try out another one in this one i'm asking it visualize a majestic buddha standing on a serene moonlit beach with gentle waves caressing the shore and a soft lunar glow illuminating the surrounding lands landscape let's wait for it and there you go looks really good look at uh, the expressions here and there is a moon there is some there are some waves and all that stuff pretty good and of course we can make it more detailed and we can give it um, more stuff but lunar glow is there i'm not sure if it is a censored one or an uncensored one that is a question which i received also on my other video which i just showed you so let me joke, uh, check of course i'm not going to show you but let me check if it is censored or uncensored and, and not safe for work and i will report back okay guys i can confirm it is a censored one so um but of course there are ways to get it uh broken so i know that how i'm sure you would be able to find it but other than that as usual amazing amazing stuff just like this model we tried from flux chanel 
this one is also the Chanel one but in this web UI not only ma it makes it really easier to use but the quality is same so very very impressive I will drop the link to this uh, tool in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching